photos is something that a lot of people find overwhelming, especially when they're first starting out with photography. And I often get asked how I edit my photos. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my landscape photos, just to show you that it doesn't have to be difficult. You only need to make a few changes and it really can be quick and easy to edit your photos once you know what you are doing. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so we are now inside Adobe Lightroom Classic on my computer here. And I've just got three landscape photos here, which I am just going to edit for you. So this is the before image, and this is how it's going to look after we've made some changes. So the first thing I'm going to do with this image is just increase the exposure ever so slightly. So I'm just going to put that up somewhere around there. So just increasing it by 0 0.50. Then I'm gonna reduce the highlights. So I'm gonna bring them all the way back down, almost to the edge there, keeping an eye on what's happening in the histogram up here as I move that backwards and forwards. And then also just bring up the shadows, because if you look in our shadows here, we're losing quite a lot of detail. So I'm just gonna, again, bring them up. Also watching that histogram to see how that is now improving a little bit. So that's already looking a lot better. We've got a lot more detail in our shadows here. Our clouds are also looking nice and contrasty um, against that blue sky. But I think we can add a little bit more contrast. So I'm actually not gonna use the contrast slider for this. I'm gonna use the dehaze slider. So again, I'm just going to drag that to the right, just to increase that dehaze. What it does, it literally removes that haze from the image. So if you're looking at the back of the image there, you can see now those mountains are starting to look more defined and in the leaves as well, they are starting to look a little bit more defined. It's removing any haze that we have there. So again, just working out where is a good point for that. It's usually around the plus 30 for me on my photos. So that's the basic editing done. The final thing I'm gonna do with this image is just straighten that horizon because it's not perfectly straight. So if I go into the crop mode here, I've got my uh, spirit level tool and I'm just going to use that. I'm going to turn my overlay, pool overlay off so that I can actually clearly see my horizon and then just click and drag to draw a line across that horizon and it automatically straightens my image for me. So there we have it. That is the first image edited. So again, I will just show you the before and the after. I'm going to just bring them up together. So we have the before and the after. As you can see, there's not a huge difference between those photos. It's just your blues looking a little bit more punchy, the green in the seas looking a little bit more punchy, and we have more detail in the shadows. That is basically all I have done with that photo. Okay, so I have a, another photo. This was taken from basically the same location, but facing a different direction. So again, I'm going to go through and do those same changes. So just increase the exposure ever so slightly. So again, around that 50 to 70 mark, 0 0.5 to 0 0.70, and then bring those highlights back down so that we're not losing the clouds, and then increase the shadows just to bring out a little bit more definition in the darker areas of the picture. And then finally that dehaze, so bringing that up to around the 30 mark, maybe a little bit more on this image, just to really make it a little bit punchy, okay? Then the final thing I'm gonna do on this image is I've just got a little mark over here in the sky. 
So I'm just gonna use my spot healing brush just to remove that spot. So I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit smaller so that it just covers that spot. And I am using the automatic spot healing brush here. So all I have to do is flip over that spot and it uses AI to analyze and then remove the spot. And I have another one down on the C here. So again, just click on that just to remove that spot as well. And that is that photo done. So as you can see, that was really quick and easy. And I can actually make this even faster by creating a preset for this, which I have done. So that is without the preset, that is with my preset, which I've created, which is pretty much those settings. And I can actually just click on that to add that there. So if we now go to my third photo, and again, I can just use that preset that I've created here for landscapes, which is those settings that I have just gone through. You can see adding the exposure to uh, 0.7, reducing the highlights all the way, increasing the shadows all the way, and then adding dehaze of plus 32. That is the preset that I've created. So I can do all of that with just a single click. Now I do think that this has slightly overexposed the image. So I'm just going to bring that exposure down slightly as well, just to again, get it perfect. But if we look at that before and the after, you can see how it has brightened the shadows in the image and it has darkened those clouds so that they stand out a bit more. Okay, so that is the basic editing that I do on all of my landscape photos. And as I mentioned, I have created a preset for this workflow and just called it landscapes. Now, if you want to use this same editing technique, you can actually download this preset just by clicking the link in the description and then you can add that to Lightroom and have that preset as just a single click to edit your landscape photos. If you need any more help with using Adobe Lightroom Classic, I will soon be releasing my online version of my Adobe Lightroom Classic course. So let me know in the comments if you want more information on that. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.